Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and you join me on a somber day where we have a funeral for a beloved tool. Adam, uh, the open source hackable editor, is now dead. In fact, it was murdered and even more interestingly, it was patricide. So stick around and we will talk about a story that is quite interesting even if you don't have a lot of interest in the tool itself. Speaking of the tool, here it is. This is Adam. Uh, it is called a hackable text editor. This was created by GitHub originally and perhaps the most important thing about Adam itself is the um, tools that spawned because of it. And we'll get back to that in just a bit. So this here is Adam. Uh, there is support for a number of different languages and markups. Uh, I do find that its performance was never stellar, at least in my opinion, and it was really more focused seemingly on the JavaScript world and less on things like C++, C Sharp, etc. And the ultimate killer of this one is its son or daughter, and that would be Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code over its existence to Atom. And ironically enough, it's also owned by the same company. You see, Atom was started by GitHub. Microsoft bought GitHub. So Microsoft now owns both repositories, the Atom uh, IDE or editor and the Visual Studio Code editor. And they had to basically decide which one to put their resources behind. And I honestly think they picked right. I, I think that Visual Studio Code is the superior editor, but it's also the one that I use. And also the one I think that 90% of you guys use as well. Um, so that is ultimately how Visual Studio Code Code, one out over Adam in the end. So a little bit of backstory. This is Adam. Uh, again, started by GitHub. It is available for now at Adam.io. But if you look up here, you will see Adam and all repositories under Adam will be archived on December the 15th, 2022. No doubt there's going to be some avid Adam lovers out there that are going to fork this and try to create a new project. So Adam may live on in some form. That is the lovely thing about open source projects. Uh, in terms of what it's all about, well, first off, it is available on a variety of of different platforms, as you can see, literally a variety of them. Uh, but you, you've got your majors, Windows, Linux, and Mac are all covered there. Um, there's projects and extensions out there, such as Teletype for Atom, which allows multiple people to work together on the same repository. Obviously, you have good GitHub integration in Atom, uh, cross platform on the major platforms. There's a built in package manager, there's auto completion, file system browser, multiple panes, find and replace, package system theming, customization, uh, and so on. Now, the key thing behind Atom is a technology that it gave to the world and that is a technology called electron even if you look here so here atom logo electron logo so the electron project was originally part of atom uh, it was and this is basically a way of hosting um javascript or javascript vm based applications uh and it gives like a c plus plus layer that does native ui integration so what in theory is you can write your uh applications and ui using a higher level language such as uh, javascript typescript coffee script etc uh, in a traditional web-based approach and using a combination of chromium and node.js uh, you can have it behave like a native application and this technology this electron technology which by the way is not being shut down it is key to a number of applications out there. Twitch uses it, Visual Studio Code uses it, spoiler alert, uh, Teams, and so on. It is a very um, key piece of technology and the entire existence of Electron is owed to Atom. Atom uh, was originally created using this technology and this is a project that spun off because of Atom. And ironically, this is the technology that Visual Studio Code is built upon. And I honestly think that Visual Studio Code is kind of like Atom, but superior in every way. Now, I'd be interested in hearing from any of you guys that likes Atom better. I've always found Atom's performance was a little yeah, and it was a little too focused on the world of um, web, I, I would say, in general, uh, very JavaScript oriented in its approach, whereas Visual Studio Code is very language agnostic. But I also find things in Visual Studio Code, just I find the performance better. I find the auto completion better. I find the ecosystem better. I, I just frankly find Visual Studio Code better. And so apparently did Microsoft. So Adam uh, is open source. The project is out there. This entire area is going to be archived. Uh, Adam is written primarily in JavaScript. Again, there's that C++ layer that hooks it into uh, the Electron midware. So you should get uh, better performance because of that. So if you're interested, uh, this is all going to be shut down the end of this year. But I do imagine someone will fork it or multiple people will fork it. And eventually one of those will become the, you know, the one true um, leader going forward. But I honestly, I think at this point in time that Visual Studio Code just won it. And at the same time, um, JetBrains are working on something called Fleet. 
Uh, and it's getting competition from many areas. So in some ways, I almost look at Atom as a proof of concept that ultimately gave us Electron. And Electron is powering tons of super important applications that are out there, including Visual Studio Code. So if you're interested, you can drop in, read their official statement on uh, why they were killing Atom, although it's perfectly obvious, right? Microsoft bought GitHub, owns two IDEs. One is better than the other. Uh, and yeah, let's just go with the one that works. So I agree with the, the, the idea, though I know a lot of people are very tied to their code editor of choice. So I know there's some people out there that are going to be very depressed on this one. Uh, so six months out, it's going to be sunset. Over the next six months, they will continue to form the Atom users. The sunset is coming and the repositories will be archived. So you won't be able to do any commits to them or any for future changes. So if you're going to want to, you want to fork it. But again, uh, it is worth reflecting that Atom has served as the foundation for the Electron framework, which paid the way for thousands of applications in student, including Visual Studio Code. Um, so the Electron project is probably the most important part of the Atom project, uh, but Atom itself as an editor, uh, well, rip. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Atom. Let me know what text editor you are using if you are using one, and maybe you just live in an IDE and you never use any of these tools. But I got a feeling for a lot of you, it's Visual Studio Code. And if you tried Visual Studio Code and Atom, do you prefer one over the other? Which one? Let me know. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.